Burning Qurans and criticizing religions may generate anger in the U.S., but it's still part of freedom of speech. In Europe, however, speaking out against Islam can lead to a jail sentence. CBN's Eric Stackelbeck spoke with one Austrian citizen facing hate crimes charges for criticizing the Quran. Elizabeth Sabadich Wolf still remembers her first exposure to Islam as a small child. It was 1979, and her father, an Austrian diplomat, was stationed in Tehran during the Iranian Revolution. Millions of people congregating and screaming Allahu Akbar. That began an eye-opening journey for Sabadish Wolf, who would be stationed in several Islamic countries over the course of her own diplomatic career. She lived in Libya during the 9-11 attacks. My landlord came running down, banging on my door, and I opened the door and he came, you know, he ran inside the apartment and said, the Jews did it! So that was the first the first word he said. Experiences like that led her to study the Quran and Islamic culture extensively. I've read the Quran. I studied the books from both sides, the pro and the con. And I can tell you from what I've studied, Islam is a political ideology disguised as a religion. Back in Austria, Sabadich Wolf lectured on the subject, and her comments on the Quran outraged a writer for a left-wing Austrian magazine. She took it to her editor, and they did, apparently then decided uh, they would take it to the pro uh, they would you know take it to the lawyer and take it to the public prosecutor's office. The Vienna prosecutor charged her with hate speech against Islam. She told CBN News she merely quoted directly from the Quran. I quoted the Quran. I told them even, you know, in the, in the lecture, which Quran I used, which quote. Some of them even had their little Qurans with them, and they, you know, they were flipping the pages, checking on me. This case is just the latest of a European charged with hate speech against Islam. Dutch parliamentarian Gerrit Wilders expects uh, a verdict in his hate crimes do. trial later this year. In addition to Austria and the Netherlands, hate speech charges have also been filed in Great Britain, Sweden, France, Denmark, Belgium and Finland, all against critics of Islam. Sabadish Wolf's case is still under review in Austria. In the meantime, the self-described feminist says she will continue to speak out for the sake of future generations. Maybe we're all wrong. Maybe this is the, the way to go. Maybe Islam is really peace and we just, we're wrong. I look at my daughter and I think, no, you have the right to live as you would like to live. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Vienna, Austria.